what is the I mean, uh, growth outlook for decathlon in India? So, what kind of plans you have for this market? Uh, we believe that uh, we have a strong growth potential in India for decathlon and uh, decathlon India is one of the important country for our decathlon united. Uh, we are really uh, trying to invest of 100 million euro in the next uh, five years uh, in different four sectors uh, which can give us a stronger growth. Keeping in mind the, uh, our physical acceleration by opening more number of stores. Uh, today we have 127 stores in 50 cities. We like to reach 190 stores uh, in 90 cities and town in India. Uh, we also want to invest in our digital platforms, in our app and website in India and in United level, uh, which can give us leverage to create a better customer experience for Indian customers in big cities and also it is a leverage to reach tier 3, tier 4 cities also in a digital way uh, to do that. Uh, we are also having an approach about Make in India and we believe that uh, it is one of the big points to succeed in India. We have an investment plan up there as well and as I see that uh, numbers could be moving today as I speak with you it is 60% of the total Make in India what we do for India retail. It could reaching to the 85% which is having the target and we have a plan to execute that in different segments across. And finally, uh, this will be also helping us to creating our stronger portfolio of our product because we are really proud of having our product range starting with different kind of sports, 60 sports under one roof. Having said that, having our product of intermediate, uh, beginners and the performance quality of product what we have. So yeah, these are the three points what we have and final one, we really believe that it is important to succeed in the business to invest on the value chain in terms of logistics and supply chain. Uh, in the last mile deliveries and these are the four segments we like to invest uh, which can help us to double our size. Yeah. Could you a little bit, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, give us some little, I mean, highlight about the, your investment plans, how much you are going to invest on retail, retailing front, how much you are going to invest on, on what is the investment you are lined up for the, for the manufacturing operations of this 100 million uh, proposed sum? Yeah, so uh, we are yet to work completely and comprehensively that how exactly the segmentation out of this will be happening. But at the same time, what I can say that bigger and major investment is going to go ahead towards the front end expansion in terms of our stores. At the same time, expansion through our digital, complemented with our value chain and making India approach. Yeah. Uh, as far as I know, uh, I think Decathlon operates only one uh, production unit in India and rest is through your channel partners. So, I mean, uh, would you also consider to, I mean, I mean, enhance the production capacity of the existing unit or you will go for another unit? What kind of expansion are you looking for? We are already working with 110 factories uh, in India. Out of that, many are partner factories and suppliers for us. We have a dedicated production team in India, those who are operating and enhancing their capacities, creating a right partnership with them. At the same time, we are also expanding our product portfolio. If you see plastic composite, metal, bicycles, these kind of components are pretty new in India also, where we are trying to expand. And for that, we may have to open more factories and more wings to succeed further on that. So yeah, I mean, it is the combination of both. Uh, we'll be keep working with our existing factories in a bigger scale. At the same time, we have to open uh, new factories uh, to really expand further. Yeah. So I mean, that will be invest on the front end and the back end both. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, uh, I'm coming on the, on, you have just mentioned, you highlighted about the company's digital approach. I mean, you're come, you're, I mean, uh, besides some I mean, retail expansion, you're all, also I'm stressing on the digital ecosystem. So I mean, how much I mean, uh, your I mean, online system contribute uh, to, your, to your total sales and do you have, with, with these kind of investments and branding, uh, do you have any uh, target for that? Uh, it's a very good question, thank you. And, and apparently, uh, our all customers, they look towards the omni-channel approach, you know. Yeah. Uh, they sometimes access our stores to really get experience, at the same time for convenience use digital platform. And also sometimes digital platform has been used to buy new product. As I speak with you, we are 11 to 12 percent of our share of our total revenue come from our digital platform, which is D2C platform what we are talking about. And we have a plan to really emphasize and increase that share uh, out of the total revenue. At the same time, it is up to the customer because they want to access the, both the channel to access our product for their experience and convenience.
Yeah. And Steve, in his, in his address, he also mentioned about the, B, uh, the company will export B2B opportunities in India. Could you yeah. little bit, I mean, uh, I mean uh, share us about those kind of steps? Uh, it's a new channel for us, but expanding. And uh, we really believe that uh, we have lots of opportunity to work with B2B uh, to really facilitate the corporate uh, in terms of the different institutions of education, different institutions of government to access our product. And we really believe that our approach of B2B, which is basically wholesale, is going to facilitate to our growth. So, I mean, uh, I mean uh, do you expect, I mean, uh, I mean the already declared, declared decathlon was having association with several sports, I mean, so uh, now you will have sport, uh, associated with the universities and colleges kind of thing? We are already having some tie-up with few, but I think that we'll be going a little exponential about this approach. I mean, you have just mentioned that I think uh, currently this India India accounts for uh, 10 to 12 percent of your global sales. I mean, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so basically today if you see a uh, global share is between 7 to 8 percent and we have a plan to really reach a uh, little bit more than uh, 10 percent about this kind of share in future. Mm -hmm. For that, it will be uh, lots of effort and different portfolio what we need to develop in India, mm -hmm. uh, which includes the new kind of products what I was talking about in plastic composites, in metal and other parts. Yeah. And I'm coming on the, on the retail side, I mean, you know, I mean, still you are, you have a license to operate under a single brand uh, policy. But if you, if you, uh, if you compare with your other decathlon stores, which you have in other global places, I mean, you, you are a multi branded dealer, I mean, so uh, are you thinking to, I mean, to convert your license or have you opposed the government? For, to allow, uh, I mean, to have a, a little reception of the other, other brand product as well. Right. So, uh, we are focusing on our basics as of now, looking towards selling our own product, which is well accepted by the Indian consumers. We are also increasing our own product portfolio across in different customers' base to fulfill the need of beginners, intermediate, and the technical products usage. At the same time, it cannot be completed completely with our product portfolio. And our team is working with the government to see what can be done for the future. But as of now, as I speak with you, we are concentrating on our product and taking it forward for our expansion. Yeah. And how much, I mean, uh, though, I mean, in India is still a small <laughs> market, I mean, on, in terms of, I mean, globally, how much, I mean, India contributes to global revenue? And what is, I mean, revenue base of the Indian operations right now? Uh, we are a little less than half a billion euro last year, and uh, uh, we are comes under the top 10 of uh, total revenue generation of United, of yeah. uh, Decathlon countries today. So uh, is India comes under one of the fastest coming growing market for Decathlon? India is very important for Decathlon Global, and that is why this kind of investment is coming, and we are trying to push further. And we believe that the sports market in India will be keep growing, and we want to cater to that mm -hmm. uh, to really make uh, mm -hmm. most... Indian practice sports using our product. Yeah, and on, on, on my last question on the retail format. You know, I mean, wherever Decathlon is, Decathlon is, uh, most of the store is a company owned uh, uh, stores, large number of stores. Are you, uh, do you think the time has come to be, I mean, as you're expanding your, I mean, uh, to other cities, smaller cities, do you think the time has come to Decathlon to experiment with the small uh, format, store formats, and that too on the franchise model kind of thing? Uh, so we are uh, not in franchising, but yeah. uh, we have different format of store what we have in uh, Decathlon. Mm -hmm. You're right, we have seen that big format store, mm -hmm. which is our sometimes flagship, more than 3,000 square meter, mm -hmm. or something convenient, which is uh, 1,000 to 2,000 square meter. We have something called Decathlon Connect, mm -hmm. uh, which is in High Street, uh, in uh, busy shopping mall, or in Tech Park, mm -hmm. and sometime in airport also. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see already, we have uh, more than 10 store, which is a small concept store, with 100 to 200 square meter store, mm -hmm. limited offer, and more digital presence. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we are trying to make more convenience for our customer to access mm -hmm. if they don't really have time to come to a bigger store to shop. Yeah, and I mean, what really my, uh, my last question is, I mean, uh, uh, out of your new stores which are going, you are going to open, how much of the, those new stores will come in a smaller tier two, tier three places? Uh, definitely, you know, uh, in our approach, we are focusing on tier one, tier two, tier three. So tier three, uh, we have stores. You know, we are we are present in twelve tier three stores uh, already. Uh, at the same time, I still believe that tier three will be uh, becoming more important in future. We need to find the right balance that uh, what kind of store, what kind of physical presence, and what kind of digital presence to make our sports products accessible to the population of the tier three and tier four further. 
Thank you so much.